Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is B. Avery here, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Just My Opinion. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into everything, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also, click that little bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So what are we talking about this episode right here? It is Black Panther, Black Panther's box office success. Black Panther is kicking butt. It was uh, the number five film of all time to reach over $200 million uh, domestically um, last week with $202 million. And now we are in the second week. Um, a lot of people were giving out their predictions and not knowing exactly where it was going to go. I think everybody knew that it was going to make $100 million the second weekend, and it did just that. And not only did it do that, I mean, I... I'm filming this Tuesday evening. Um, the actual numbers did were released yesterday on Monday, but of course on Sunday the estimates were released, and it was estimated at 108 million dollars. But right now it did at 111 million 658 thousand 835 dollars, and that is amazing. That is a 44.7 percent drop, which is phenomenal. Um, I was honestly thinking that it would have did a 50 percent drop, so that it even did lower than. That, that's amazing even if it would have you know did a 60 or 70 percent drop that's not necessarily bad a lot of people while oh my gosh it dropped 60 percent it dropped 70 percent that means it's doing horrible no that doesn't mean that that just means the majority of the people went to go see it the opening uh weekend and it doesn't matter if it has a drop to that amount um as long as it makes a ton you know that opening weekend so right now it's standing at 411 uh, million dollars, four hundred eleven million seven hundred eleven thousand seven hundred thirty eight dollars domestically. Um, that is just freaking amazing. Um, so that actually puts it at the um. Oh, and right now I'm I'm I guess I'm um I guess this is including the Monday numbers as well. Because it has surpassed, because yesterday it wasn't there yet, but it has surpassed Captain America Civil War and Iron Man 3 domestically. Civil War was at 408, uh, Iron Man 3 was at 409, but now this is 411. Um, the only movies that are uh, that are beating it in the MCU are Avengers Age of Ultron at 459 and Marvel's The Avengers at 623 million. So the video I did last week, I was just saying to myself that, okay, you know, um, it's going to make $500 million um, domestically. And I was kind of underbidding it there, but I'm really sh pretty confident it is going to do uh, $600 million uh, domestically here in the United States. I'll even go as far as saying that I feel that it is going to make $700 million uh, not often to say worldwide domestically and that would actually put it at I believe number two or three um, all time um, domestic let me see here let me look at all time real quick the, the what I, I'm looking on box office mojo and what I love about box office mojo is it um, there's so many different charts and like tables that they set up to compare so of course uh number one for the domestic um record is 936 million with star wars the force awakens it's not going to restate if it does i'll be surprised number two is avatar at 760 million um coming in at number three is titanic at 659 and coming in at number four is jurassic world at 652. I'm going to go ahead and say it right now, I feel very confident that it will take the number three spot beating Jurassic World and Titanic for the number three um, best domestic of all time. I'm not sure if it's going to reach the Avatar levels of 760 million uh, domestically. It may. It may. But I, I, I am very confident. I, I, it's going to reach 600 million. But I am very confident now that it is going to reach the um, the 700 million dollar mark. And that'll put it at number three. But if it can get up to 760 um, domestically, hey, you know, that's even great. Um, and the crazy thing about it, guys, is I am just talking uh, domestically right now, too. I'm not 
I'm not talking about anything else. If you go, if you're on Box Office Mojo and you go to the homepage, just scroll down a little bit on the left side, you'll see something that says showdowns. And they have uh, showdowns for the top MCU uh, openers and also opening weekend showdown. And they have a showdown between Star Wars The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, Marvel's The Avengers, Star Wars The Last Jedi, and Black Panther. You know, why are these movies? Because all of them have some of the best opening weekends of all time. I think this is the top five best opening weekends of all time. All of these films grossed over $200 million domestically. And going, if you go by the day by day uh, box office, um, Black Panther is beating or it is beating the Avengers. It is on pace right now. Doing, so this is the. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleventh. So yesterday was Monday, the eleventh day that Black Panther was in theaters here in the United States. And on the eleventh day for Marvel's The Avengers that came out in 2012, that film was at 380 million. Well, Black Panther is 31 million dollars over that. Um, and it's 11th day. So it's on, and it's not just that. I mean, every, it, it beat it on Monday, um, 8 million versus 7 million. Um, Sunday, 35 million for Black Panther, 30 million for Avengers. On Saturday, 47 million for Black Panther, 42 million for Avengers. Now, on Friday, like this past Friday, Avengers won at 29 million and Black Panther had 28 million. But for the most part, it's 30 million, 31 million dollars ahead of pace. And Marvel's The Avengers domestic theatrical run was 623 million. So, I mean, it may slow down, but right now it's really looking like, you know, Black Panther is going to, you know, far surpass. I don't want to say far surpass, but at least surpass um marvel's the avengers that came out in 2012 and what other films do we have on here jurassic world now right now in the 11th day jurassic world is still winning because on the 11th day for black panther including yesterday's numbers um it is at 411 million dollars domestically jurassic world at this point was at 414 so just three million dollars ahead of black panther and um the Jurassic World's domestic run came to 652. So 650, you know, I, I'll be satisfied with that. I'll be really happy at 700 uh, million, but you know, it may make it, it may not. But you know, these um, these day to day charts here are pretty accurate. If you look at the weekend, um, yeah, you got 202 million. Black Panther beat everything. It beat it beat Jurassic World. It beat the Avengers, and it beat Star Wars: the Last Jedi on their second weekend. The highest on that one was 106 by um, Jurassic World. Marvel's The Avengers was 103, and Black Panther came in at 111. So it's kicking, but um, I think that yeah, 600 million it, it's going to reach that 650 million. It has a, a good fighting chance, uh, but I hope it makes 700 million. But that's just talking about the domestic. Of course, what really matters is, I mean, if a movie only makes $1,000 in the United States, but it makes a billion dollars or worldwide, you know, international combined, you know, that's all that matters. You, you have to take the grand total of everything. So just looking at, um, just looking at the worldwide box office for everything. Let me go here. Let me, what am I trying to do here? There's so many different things you can do. It's, it's, it's crazy. Right now, worldwide is 727 million, uh, which is great. Um, the last movie, Thor, the Dark World, not Thor, the Dark World, Thor, Ragnarok, that came out in November. Um, I believe that grossed uh, 850 million uh, worldwide. Let me scroll down. Yeah. yeah, 853 million worldwide. So right now, Black Panther is at 727. It's going to pass. It's going to pass all these. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is at 863. Spider-Man Homecoming is at 880. It's going to reach $1 billion. That's just a given. Um, you know, that that's not rocket science right there. Captain America Civil War is at 1.1 billion. Iron Man 2 is at 1.2 billion. Avengers Age of Ultron is at 1.4 and Marvel's The Avengers is at 1.5. This has a strong chance of um 
of making um of you know beating the avengers um you know i, I really i'm pretty confident that it's going to be iron man 3 uh but it really has a strong chance of being 1.5 i don't know if it's going to hit the two billion dollar mark i'm not saying that it's impossible but it would really have to do well overseas like you know we need at least 300 million from china or i, I mean it doesn't i mean i just say that because china is the second most popular uh not second most popular but second most uh has a china is the second largest box office draw worldwide uh right after um right after america right after you know our, our domestic run here and so um it's doing great i am uh fascinated um beyond belief and let me just let me just go ahead and give you a few more stats um there has only been five films is it five films or four uh, maybe i should have looked that up but i think let me see how many films have made is it is it the five films or four I want to say five. Yeah, five films that have made $100 million uh, or more for the second weekend. So that's great. Um, also, this is the second highest opening weekend of all time. Star Wars The Force Awakens that came out in 2015. That second weekend. No, oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry, guys. Was $149 million. Uh, Black Panther was $111 million. It, it beat everything else. So... It is breaking records. It is going crazy. And um, just something else real quick. Okay. What should Chadwick Boseman be getting paid for all of these movies? I am on the fence right now because um, should he get a raise? Hell yeah, he should. I don't know what he got for uh, Captain America Civil War. I'm not sure. And excuse me for, you know, I had some fuzz on my glasses. I'm being a nerd. I don't care. Um, I'm not sure what he got paid for Captain America Civil War, but uh, the report showed that he was paid 300K for Black Panther. Now, some of you were like, what? $300,000? Are you serious? Oh, my God. He is super underpaid. That's crazy. Robert Downey Jr. got like 40 million, 50 million for his role in Iron Man. Well, hold, hold your brakes. Hold your brakes. Well, first of all, Chadwick Boseman is getting paid exactly what all the other marvel actors were getting for their first solo film because I, I i may have even said this in the last video but i'm gonna repeat it robert downey jr got 500k for iron man one chris evans got 300k for captain america one uh chris hemsworth hemsworth got 200k for thor one so this is black panther one so chadwick boseman would get 300k okay now uh everybody did get a raise on their first appearance in the avengers of course robert downey jr got that 40 40 40 50 or 40 45 million dollars um chris evans got i think 300 uh, 3 million um chris hemsworth got like 2 million or something like that so i'm expecting uh chadwick boseman to get uh, a raise for avengers infinity war even though he was locked in with these five films uh captain america civil war two avengers films and two black panther films all the other actors were locked in as well they're on like their second round of contracts right now chris evans had a six picture deal and so just because you're locked in and you have to fill these number of films doesn't mean that you won't get a raise because everybody's been getting raises with each you know avengers film you know um um uh, since that point on and so Chadwick will get a raise now how much now if I, I would just okay so if black panther becomes the best um uh financial success that it, it draws the the most box office out out of all 18 mcu films should chadwick boseman get paid the most out of every actor because right now that is robert downey jr he he got 40 million for avengers one he got 40 million for avengers two i don't know what he got for captain america civil war civil war was probably 40 should chadwick boseman get paid more than that i mean it, it would make sense because his film did better than everybody else's um I, that's where i'm on the fence and the reason why I'm on the fence with that is because while I want to say, yes, he should get paid more than everybody. If, 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 if his film generated even more than the Avengers, especially if it gets to, uh, to the $2 billion mark, people are showing up more for the property for the character than they are the actual actor, because it pains me to say this, but unfortunately 
Chadwick Boseman is not a bankable star. Even though I am a diehard fan for Chadwick Boseman and I want him to be the most successful ever, I've enjoyed all of his movies. I've seen all of his movies. A lot of his movies have lost the studio's money. So people didn't go show up to see him. Like that movie Express, I can't even remember if he was the main star in that, but it lost the studio money. Draft Day with Kevin Costner lost the studio money. I think Draft Day, I think the I think it brought in uh like 33 million um worldwide. Let me look. I got it right here. Oh, okay. Draft Day the uh worldwide is 29 million dollars. That's not a lot. That's that's not a lot. And um what was it Box Office Mojo all the time does not provide the production budget, but you can also get it other places. And so, yeah, the budget was $25 million. $25 million and it brought in worldwide 29.5. Well, of that 29.5 million, at least a third of that goes to the theater owners. And then, you know, you got to bring in the marketing too, which is not included. So that lost the studio money. Uh, What other films does Chad we have? Um, 42 did well. They didn't make three times the budget. You have to make three times the budget for the studio to get a respectable profit because you have to take out a third on average of what theater owners get. And then you also have to include the marketing budget as well. So, so to cover all that, you know, it has to make three times the budget. So if a film costs 10, if the production budget for a film was $10 million, it needs to gross 30 million, three times that to account for the percentage that goes to the theater owners and also the marketing budget that's not included in that. So um, Express didn't do that. Draft Day didn't do that. 42 did um, at, no, it didn't make three times, but uh, the budget was 40 million and it, it, it didn't even release worldwide. It just had a domestic run at 95 million. So it should have made 120 million uh the worldwide or domestically but it didn't yeah you know, i'm not i'm not saying that it lost money it probably broke even or made a small profit i'm I'm leaning more over the, the broke even or made like a small profit um get up uh get up did not make a lot of money either unfortunately or yeah get on up i'm, I'm thinking get out and get up it is you know the budget the worldwide 33 million dollars that's not a lot of money so people, you know, even though it was a great movie and I love Chadwick Boseman in that, um, get on up. Let's see if I can find it here, what the budget was. And yeah, worldwide, $33 million and the budget was $30 million. So that lost the studio money, unfortunately. So and then the same thing goes for Marshall, uh, which came out uh, at the end of last year. Great movie. If you go to my my personal Facebook page, you can go look at my feed. I was just saying, hey, guys, Marshall right now is in theaters and it's not doing well. Go see it. You know, we need Chaswick. And, and now box office model said, we're updating the thing right now. Come back. I hate when well, I can't get mad at them for doing it. They got to update the site. It is free. I'm not paying for it. But, um, yeah, I just hit reload and it's not letting me um, look at box office model right now. Oh, that's great in the middle of my video, but that's okay. Um, so off the top of my memory, let me actually, I can go, let me, let me go here. But Marshall lost the studio money too, is what I'm getting at. And my whole point is, is that if Chadwick goes and be like, Hey, I made all this money. I mean, Black Panther made all this money. You know what I'm saying? Pay me. Yeah. He should get a raise definitely. But should he be getting paid more than everybody else, even though his money, movie made more than everybody else? Uh, real quick, so the production, but the, so the God is horrible. Marshall didn't even barely did ten million dollars, and the budget was twelve million. So that lost the studio money. Um, so the only films that didn't lose the studio money were Forty Two and Captain America: Civil War. But I mean, come on, that was like Avengers Two Point Five, where the super duper ensemble cast. You really, you know, Chadwick Boseman wasn't the main draw in that film. Uh, even though people were more in, in interested in seeing it because the Black Panther cut was going to be there. But I think you get what I'm saying. So what I am saying is that, unfortunately, while I am a big fan of Chadwick Boseman and I want him to be as successful as possible in his uh, Hollywood movie career. Right now, he is not a bankable star, even though he is freaking talented. That is just my opinion and all opinions are subjective. You know, people aren't 
or they haven't been showing up for the movie theater at the movie theater for him alone. Um, you know, and so the, everybody right now, this Black Panther success is more of the, the Black Panther character, uh, the property. It's not with Chadwick Boseman, but you know, I don't know, uh, if Black Panther 2 kicks ass at the box office as well, which earliest is going to come out, maybe February of 2021. Um, because they've already released the dates for the year 2020. Marvel Disney has, but they haven't released the properties. But Black Panther 2 is not going to be released in 2020. At the earliest, it's going to be 2021. If Black Panther 2 does just as well and even better that's going to be the end of Chadwick Boseman's contract which is great they don't have him locked in so he literally can demand more now you can't go crazy like I want 60 70 million dollars because the studio will probably replace you they don't want to do that but they've done it before with white actors and black actors they've done it with uh Terrence Howard with the uh, uh war machine role that went to Don Cheadle they also did it with the Incredible Hulk at first it was Edward Norton and now they have Mark Ruffalo but at the same time I think that uh I think that Edward Norton didn't want to come back, uh, which is also a reason why they started doing these multi-film uh, contract deals. Because when the MCU first started in 2008, they didn't do that because of issues like the Edward. That was OK. We're going to lock people in. Um, so I hope that uh, right, right now, Robert Downey Jr. is the highest paid in the MCU. Um And if this film does like 1.5, 1.6 billion or 2 billion, I mean, if it does, whew, Excuse me, do I got some water away from here? God, oh, I'm finna die. I ain't even been talking that long. I want barely over 20 minutes, so I'm finna stop. But uh, basically, bottom line is Black Panther's kicking ass already. You know, uh, I love the film. It wasn't perfect. I thought the action could have been better. Um, I like the action, that I like the Black Panther action better in Civil War. Overall, action the Civil War kicks Black Panther's action butt out the way, and I really could have not. I, I really could have uh, done without the CIA's involvement. Uh, I mean, it, it was okay that Everett Ross, uh, Mar Martin Freeman was in the movie, but you know, uh, I really wasn't a fan of the UN scene at the end. Of, you know, where you know he was like, "Ah, you know, you should have been giving that to black people like Killmonger wanted." Um, because especially African Americans, the oppressed group still to this day, um, you know, people are saying like, wow, you know, Black Panther secret messages, you know, uh, had a, Af a black African teaming up with the CIA to stop, uh, African Americans revolution. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, it sucks and how that ties into the real world as well. Um. Uh, but you know the movie was I, I still love the film I'm gonna buy it I may go see it again in theaters but like Black Panther it's kicking butt right now at the box office that's amazing Chadwick Boseman definitely will get an increase for uh, the pay um, but it, we it is a debate on whether or not uh, I'm not expecting him to get no 40 million dollars for Avengers Infinity War no no I'm not expecting that um, but I am expecting him to get paid a lot more than a lot of other people uh, is, is he gonna make 40 million like robert downey jr i don't know for the reasons that we just discussed i mean if he gets a hell yeah brother i was gonna say splurge no don't splurge uh you know buy your buy your little nice house if you don't already got one take care of your mama and you know all that stuff but put that away man you know all that good stuff but guys i don't want this to be too long winded that is just my thoughts my opinion on the success of black panther you know where will it fall in the box office for week three and i will be back have you seen black panther do you want to see it i'm pretty sure you have seen it uh comment below let me know uh whether you agree or disagree let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing um if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up and if you don't that's fine go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it, and also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of the screen, and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion, thoughts on the Black Panthers box office success. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Kithavery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.